Welcome back to the channel. We are in Carlisle, Ontario, working for amazing clients of mine, Kim and James. We are doing a main bathroom model as well as creating a new master walk-in closet from a spare bedroom. And we are doing their master ensuite bathroom remodel as well. Now, if you're watching this video, by the time this video gets posted, the main bathroom will already have been done and posted to the YouTube channel. I will leave a link in the description below if you haven't checked it out already. But there's a reason why we're doing both at the same time, the main bath and the master closet. And that's because the main bathroom and the master ensuite both share a wall with the master closet. Because we're making the main bathroom bigger and we're also making the master ensuite bigger, we're taking that room from the master closet. So we have to create a new master closet. So we are gonna take up the fourth spare bedroom to do that. So let's go inside. Before I show you what we're doing with the master closet, I'll give you a rundown of what we're doing in the main bath. So that way you have an idea. But like I said, the main bath should be completed by the time this video is posted. So that video will already be up on the YouTube channel. I will leave a link in the description, check it out. But in the meantime, enough talk. Let's go inside and check it out. First things first, this neo angled wall will be coming out. It is the back side of the master closet. And in its place will be a matching six foot vanity to the one that's on the left. So there'll be a brand new vanity here on the left and one on the right. Now, since we are removing this wall and making the bathroom bigger, that means we'll be making the master closet smaller. But that's okay because the master closet will now become part of the new master bathroom which I will be doing after this bathroom is completed. So where's the new master closet going to go? The fourth spare bedroom will now become the new master closet. So this doorway here entering the fourth bedroom will get closed off and there'll be a new opening leading to the master bedroom. There will be new custom built-ins, one behind me, one where the closet is in the corner, one behind there and one in the corner there with a new custom bench underneath the window, as well as an island in the center. I can't wait to get started. We got all our tools ready to go. So let's get started with demo. Let's get to work.
carpet and all the base board out, all the under pad, all the tack strip and the doors off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna open up the opening of the closet. We're gonna remove the header because we want that opening to match this opening here. See how we have no header here, obviously. This doorway is gonna get framed off and drywalled. So this side here has to match this side here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna punch a hole in the wall leading to the master bedroom. So enough talk, let's keep going. it is the next day all the demo is done in our new master closet we punched a hole out in the wall to go to the master bedroom as well we removed the old existing closet that was part of this existing bedroom just behind me here over my shoulder is our new transom that's going to allow all this nice natural light that comes in through this big window to come through this transom and light up the staircase and the hallway on the other side that's gonna look pretty cool when it's done also the floor is ready and prepped uh, once all the drywall work and reframing is done it'll be ready to install all the new hardwood floor but first today Vinny my electrician is coming in because we got a lot of electrical to clean up you can see here we got some electrical running through where our transom is going to go we got to eliminate some plugs 
and we got to add a couple plugs. We also got to relocate the existing light switch, which was near the bedroom entrance. Now has to go through the now has to go to the wall where the master bedroom is, coming into the new closet. So we got a little bit of work to do before we can start closing things up. So I'm gonna get the area ready to go. Vinny should be here in a few minutes. Let's get to work. Vinny! Again with this play with my emotions. What's up, Vin? Nothing. Let's go to work. Let's work. <laughs> Alright everyone, it is the next day. I had Vinny come in and relocate some of the electrical for me and it's all done. There wasn't much electrical for him to relocate, but it had to get done. So now I'm ready to start boarding up the closet. So that way we can get all the mud and tape done. We got to get the hardwood floor done. We're only a few days into this project, but the new custom built-ins from Kitchen by Macri will be in in a few days, maybe about a week. So we got a lot of work to do to get ready for the built-ins when they arrive. So we're gonna get started with closing up the drywall. Got a little bit of framing to do, not much. Then we're gonna get all our plastic work done, sanded and primed. Then we're gonna install all our hardwood floor. And by then, hopefully our cabinets should arrive. So enough talk, let's get to work. <laughs> We hung a few sheets of fresh drywall in here and now we are ready for tape. My taper Ziggy is in to do the mud and tape for me. Also you can see here I built a couple of bulkheads to go above the built-in cabinetry just so it wasn't open to above the cabinets. You know it would be a spot for collecting dust and whatnot and we figured it was a good idea to build a couple of bulkheads. You can see the other one here above me here. But Ziggy's just working away, and then once all the mud and tape is done, we're going to sand, prime, and paint, because Raf from Arnie Flooring will be in to install all the new hardwood floor, and then once the hardwood floor is in, Kitchens by Macri will be in to deliver and install all the custom built-ins. So I'm going to get out of Ziggy's hair. He's doing his magic. Ziggy, say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> all right, let's get to work.
All right, everyone, it is a few days later and Ziggy, my taper, came in and did all the mud and tape and all the drywall repair. Everything looks fantastic. He's an absolute magician at his craft. Now, before we go ahead and prime and do all the ceiling white, my good friend Raf from Arnie Flooring will be in today to start laying all the engineered hardwood. We are going with this five inch by 30 inch white oak supplied by Vintage Hardwood. We are laying it in a herringbone pattern. It's gonna look absolutely amazing when it's done. I can't wait to see it. I love the color my clients chose. It's gonna look fantastic. But before he gets here, I gotta get the area cleaned up and ready to go because once all the hardwood floor is laid and all the wall color is done, Kitchens by Macri will be delivering all the custom built-ins. So we got a lot of work to do in the next couple of days. So enough talk, let's get to work. Shout out to my good friend Raf from Arnie Flooring. He did an amazing job on the engineered hardwood floor installation. The herringbone pattern looks absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. My clients are super happy. It looks great. Now it's time to throw some color on the wall. I've already gone ahead and covered the floor and paper. I've already gone ahead and done all the primer and ceiling white. But as far as the wall color is concerned, we are going with Benjamin Moore Regal Eggshell Cloud Cover. It's a nice color and it's going to complement the cabinetry very nice. All the paint for this project was supplied by Southside Paint in Milton. The new custom cabinetry will be here in a few days. Once we get the color on the walls, we're going to clean up and get ready for the cabinetry delivery. So enough talk, let's get to painting.
All right, everyone, it is a couple weeks later, and unfortunately, due to supply chain issues, we finally just got the custom cabinetry, but I'm here with my good friend, Nick, from Kitchens by Macri. Your delivery boy should be here any minute now. How does all the custom cabinetry for the closet look? Hi, everyone. The cabinets look amazing. Customers decided to go with feather white uniboard. Uh, it looks sharp. I can't wait for the boys to get here and so we can get installing. We're gonna get the area cleaned up and ready to go because they should be here any minute. We're gonna unload the truck and start installing our custom cabinets. It is the next day and I got all the cabinetry installed yesterday and everything looks fantastic. Kitchens by Macri knocked out of the park again. 
Now these cabinets were super heavy because unlike your traditional 5 8 board material that's normally used for cabinetry, this is all three quarters. So all the cabinets were super heavy, but we got it all installed. It's all plumbed, level, looks fantastic. Now today we are gonna move on to all the toe kicks and all the fillers. That way we can start doing all the trim, all the baseboard. But before we do any of that, I've already gone ahead to Provincial Granite and Quartz and picked up the quartz countertop for the island. So we're gonna get that installed first. Then we're gonna move on to all the finished carpentry. Then we're gonna install all the cabinet hardware, all the clothing rods, and then Shower Avenue is gonna come in to install the glass for the transom. And then this closet is pretty much done. So another day or two, and we can give this closet back to my clients. So enough talk, let's get to work.
everyone all the finished trim is done we finished all the baseboard all the casing we've installed all the fillers and tool kicks on our cabinetry next we're going to install all the hardware the client has chosen this beautiful gold hardware these poles will be installed on the drawers on the built-ins on this side the cabinet doors on the built-ins on that side will get these nice gold H poles and the drawers in the island will get these 12 inch gold H poles. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're gonna look absolutely amazing. But before we do that, we're gonna install all the clothing rods. We're going with black. Now we have nine clothing rods to install, which means 18 mounting brackets. So I've gone ahead and made a jig to make things easier. Simply hold up the jig into the cabinet drill my three holes, and then I'll be able to install my hardware, and that'll ensure that every mounting bracket is installed in the exact same place every single time. So we're almost done. We got a few paint touch-ups left to do after this as well, and get this closet cleaned. So let's get all the jewelry installed, all the closet rods, and we're gonna call this closet done.
All right, everyone, that is going to be a wrap for this video. This master walk-in closet came out absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. My clients love it. The transformation from a spare bedroom to this master walk-in closet could not have come out any more perfect from all the custom cabinetry to the herringbone hardwood floor, the quartz countertops, the glass transom to allow all that natural light that comes in from this huge window into the staircase and hallway. Everything ties in together beautifully. It came out absolutely perfect. I wanna thank my amazing clients, Kim and James. Thank you so much for the opportunity to create this absolutely gorgeous master walk-in closet for you guys. But we're not done with you guys yet because we still have to finish the master ensuite. We've already did the main bathroom, now the master closet is done, and next is completing the master ensuite. Once again, just a reminder, I will leave a link in the description for the video for the main bathroom. Stay tuned for the master bathroom video, that should be out in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, this project could not have been possible without all of my amazing trades and suppliers. I want to thank Kitchens by Macri. They knocked it out of the park once again. All the custom cabinetry looks absolutely amazing. Provincial Granite and Quartz, thank you very much. They supplied all the quartz, they supplied the quartz countertop for this project. Thank you to Raf from Arnie Flooring. He installed all the herringbone hardwood floor. Thank you to Shower Avenue. They supplied the glass for the transom. I want to thank Vinny, my electrician. He came in and did all the electrical roughing and finish work for me. I want to thank Ziggy, my taper. He did all the mud and tape. But that's going to be a wrap for this video. So please do me a favor. If you like this video, if you love this project, do me a favor, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I've got plenty of more exciting projects and content coming your way. Stay tuned for the master bathroom remodel for this, this house. It's going to be absolutely amazing. You're not going to want to miss it. I want everyone to stay safe, be healthy, and thank you to all my clients and followers for all the love and support. We'll see you later. Ciao. Cooper. Hey, puppy. Hi, Coops. What do you got there? What's that noise? What is that? Oh, the vacuum. Oh, yeah, fuck, you scared the crap out of me. I thought it was water. I thought it was water leaking. Oh, my God. It sounded, from up here, it sounded like water was leaking. Yeah. Because we're, we're sitting here drilling. Do we hit a water line or something? Make sure you grab the side of the, the, the receptacle with both hands again, eh? Oh, yeah. Both fingers again. He's thinking about it. He's thinking. Pull, 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 Yeah, we go. it. See the white, so, so there's no black wire. Would it disconnect it? Does both of the black and the white go on the same side? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, now look from here, this one. Is it the one that goes on the left side? Come on, Chicano, you want to learn or what? Move the tools, man. The fuck are they Make sure you put the ladder right on his circuit tester, okay? <laughs> it wasn't even high, it's not even high. Well, you're going to step it all the way down. There you go, tighten the fucking, tighten the fucking screw. Tighten the clamp. Not the ground. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a thing, eh? What? Yeah, don't strip it, eh? Here. That's a red Robbie, not a fucking green. No, Vito's green is round. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Your back is soaked. I know. Why? Right. This is about time to take videos. What? What? It's about say? time to take videos. Why? Because, see, I'm sweating like a pig and... Uh... Hey, but you look sexy, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! I'm gonna do
Get a carbonate, get a carbonate, go and see what they 